Do I continue to let my daughter, 13F, live with me, or put her back to her mother? So I have two daughters, 13, 7, with L, 38F. My eldest and her mother don't really get on well and are not close at all. They're also both very stubborn and it causes a lot of friction. Recently they had an argument after my 13 years old snapped at her little sister and barged past an older sister, not mine. My ex told me I had to keep her for a while, as she had enough, when she came to me at the weekend, I have them every weekend. So far, my daughter has been staying with me for two weeks. Her mom has told me I need to get her attitude sorted out, but I would say being a moody teen is par for the course, though I did speak to her about being more patient, not shoving past people, working on her temper etc. The ex has also doubled down saying, she's not welcome in my house until she's got her attitude fixed. She needs to see a doctor cuz it's not normal to be grumpy 24-7, and the few times they've seen each other they have not discussed the situation at all. From my perspective I'll happily speak to her about her attitude etc., but at the same time my ex is also the parent and adult and, instead of digging her heels in and escalating the situation, I've tried to advise her to tell my eldest to go chill out, calm down etc. But she always resorts to shouting, screaming and ultimatums, like throwing your 13 yards old out for being a moody teen. My ex messaged today to say, I was thinking of taking her home on Sunday as long as I get her told, I'm unhappy about this as it means she hasn't given it any thought at all and isn't looking at her own behavior either. I really don't want her going back to that environment as it is just now. Looking for ways to address it and move forward. Do I say she's not going back, or say maybe one or two nights a week to start with? I want my daughter to feel supported and not like she's being thrown out of my house now. Not sure how to move forward. There's no official custody arrangement through court etc. That would be a last resort as we've always been amicable. Too long did not read. My ex threw my daughter out of her house after a fairly normal, petty argument and she's been staying with me. Things are going well but mum is suggesting she goes home and I'm not 100% happy for her to go back if things are unresolved. Want to know how to proceed. What does your daughter want? I would just respect her wishes. If she doesn't feel ready to go back either then tell your ex she'd prefer to stay for a while. I agree, she's just being a normal teenage girl. Therapy for mom and daughter. If your daughter wants to go back let her. But if she doesn't keep her with you. Mom is being an at SS and is going to cause emotional trauma to your daughter if she continues being so pig-headed and unreasonable. My daughter is 14. Yes at this stage they are far more moody than ever. But it seems as if the issues between your daughter and your ex-wife seem to be more than growing pains. Have you discussed with your daughter what is happening at home? But I have to agree let your daughter make a choice. If your daughter already has a bad relationship with her mom her going back to a household where your wife resorts to screaming and ultimatums is not going to make it better. How happy is your youngest at your ex-wife's? Even if you are not thinking about fighting for custody yet documenting these issues now may save you later. Especially if your daughters want to stay with you. Do you want to keep her? What does your daughter say? What does the custody agreement say? I would ask your daughter what she wants. Frankly your ex sounds like a real piece of work, and I don't usually use that phrase. To be reacting like this to a teen being a teen is really immature, and frankly toxic for your daughter. 13 is old enough to know where you feel safe and comforted. It's wonderful that it sounds like she gets that from you. Don't force her to go back to her mother's when she doesn't want to. If you all have a legal custody arrangement I would call a lawyer to look into the right course of action is. As it stands, depending on laws near you, she could say you kidnapped your own daughter and possibly take both your children from you indefinitely. Don't let that happen. Your ex isn't ready to deal with the reality of raising a teen. Doesn't she remember being a teen? Your ex probably gave her your former in-laws a few gray hairs. Honestly, your 13 yo sounds pretty average, she just has to be reminded about her manners. You might be repeating this scenario in a few years with your younger daughter. Talk to them both calmly as what they see future to be. If your daughter refuses to go, go to court and change the custody agreement. Keep her with you and love her dearly. You're a good dad. She can mend things with mum when she's in her 20s. Good on ya, dad. Dude. I'm the dad of three girls who have all passed this unfortunate stage. I occasionally felt like running away from home and leaving the house to them. But I didn't because Jesus fuck who throws a 13 year old out. Your job is to look out for your daughter's best interests. From how this sounds, going back into that house is definitely not going to help her. Devastated over newlywed husbands flirting over DM.
My husband and a woman have been flirting and liking each other's pics for months. One time I asked him who that was because I would notice constant notification from her. He got really defensive and proceeded to say that it's his friend's ex and they don't really communicate because of language barrier. Fast forward two months later I see I see the same notification from the same woman. I asked to look at his DM and he hesitates. I looked at the DM and there were heart emojis being sent back and forth for months. I'm so hurt I'm willing to leave and get a divorce am I overreacting? He says they have never met and he didn't intend to meet her. He thinks it's not a big deal and is now angry at me for wanting to leave. You're not overreacting. If he's doing this now with the marriage so new, it's only going to get worse as time goes on. He's not trustworthy. Get out now before there are too many strings attached. He's angry and defensive because you are calling him out and because he knows he is in the wrong. You should tell him that emotional cheating is as bad as physical cheating so using the we're never going to meet argument is bogus. Divorce that man. Lol his behavior is bad and now he's angry at you. What else do you need to know about him? Cut your losses, divorce him, get yourself a next man who is emotionally intelligent and kind. If you don't know what that looks like, consider therapy. Best to you orange heart. He wouldn't try to hide it if he really didn't think it was wrong. It's an affair. They don't have to be physical. I know pet out of a situationship with a guy the first loved for doing this. This man just married you. It is mad disrespectful, married or not. Liking, DMing hearts, flirting etc, it's emotional cheating. I would be leaving this person. I understand the marriage is fresh and divorce is complicated, but don't let the sunk cost fallacy blind you to the disrespect. If the marriage is new maybe annulment is an open. That's cheaper than divorce. Keep proof of the cheating if necessary. He's gaslighting you with the classic Darvo. He knew he fucked up which is why he didn't want to show you. I guarantee if she lived in his zip code he would have fucked her. Get a lawyer. My boyfriend thinks asking for a cake on my b-day is too much. The title says it. My birthday is tomorrow and we were having some drinks tonight. I brought up asking if we were going to get my favorite cake from this bakery through Uber Eats because we don't have a car. He got upset and angry and asked me the fact me asking for these things make him wants to do none of it and we left the place we were getting drinks at. I've never asked him for anything expensive or out of the ordinary and it has been strict 50 to 50. If anything, he makes three times as much as I do and I help him save money by being 50 to 50. I got laid off very recently and the one of the first thing we discussed was whether I can afford my half of rent or not. When I said I was gonna do some part-time jobs until I find something and afford rent, he said, good, glad we're on the same page. We've been together for three years and I've gotten thoughtful gift or roses from him only once. I only brought it up because I want to feel treated and spoiled every now and then on special occasions. He doesn't seem to be understanding of this so I gently brought it up today except it was taken extremely wrong. I thought cake was pretty standard for birthdays? This guy super sucks. He makes three times as much as you and his first thought when you lost your job was making sure he wouldn't have to cover for you. Dump him. Been three years, he isnt gonna change and you don't sound happy. Perhaps you should think about exiting the relationship if this is a problem. Again been three years and you have had exactly one thoughtful gift. Guess how many you will have after six years, if the trend continues, which it will. He makes three times as much as I do and I help him save money by being 50 to 50. I got laid off very recently and the one of the first thing we discussed was whether I can afford my half of rent or not. WTF. This man does not respect you. Three years together and he won't even cover you temporarily when you fall on hard times? Expects you to scrimp and save for bills while he puts away a cushy amount of savings? What would he be like if you got sick, if you were pregnant, if you had an emergency? This kind of person is not life partner material. The cake is just a symptom of the larger issue, which is that he's selfish and refuses to put any effort into your relationship. Your boyfriend sounds like a fucking loser. If you have to ask for effort, then they aren't worth it. Especially for something as standard as cake on your own birthday. He sounds like a jerk. Three years of your life wasted on a jerk of a man. He doesn't seem to like you very much. What are you waiting for to move on? Your boyfriend just sees you as a financial benefit. The minute you aren't able to go 50-50, you're out the window. Leave while you can and find someone who won't even need you to ask for your favorite cake on your birthday. Are all relationships, marriages like this? I'm not sure if this is the right place to post this and I have a feeling this is going to get some hate but I'm genuinely curious about this. 
I realize I sound quite naive, but after marriage or being comfortable in a relationship, do things just get worse? I understand it takes effort from both sides to maintain a healthy relationship but from people around me, it just seems like, for heterosexual relationships, at least, the, men end up not helping around, and, women become, nags. I realize that I am stereotyping and categorizing two groups of people, which is super generalizing and definitely not true for all people, but I've noticed this around family and close friends. It seems like this is quite relatable and consistent for many relationships. For context, I'm 19F and have never been in a relationship. I know that I am far away from actually being in a serious relationship, but I'm always afraid that I will end up in a relationship that I described. Any constructive input is welcome. I'm curious to hear your thoughts. Disclaimer. I truly don't mean to hurt or attack anyone by attaching stereotypical characteristics to heterosexual men and women. These are stereotypes that definitely do not apply to everyone in any groups that I have mentioned. Not if you get the right guy. I've been together with my husband for seven years and while we have occasional issues, he is an amazing cook, actively involved father, wonderful gardener and has none of those basic issues I hear boomers complain about. He supports my passions and surprises me with little gifts and acts of thoughtfulness. Marriage has been wonderful for us and I've never been happier. You're not alone. I have the same fear sometimes too. Growing up, I never had an example of a good marriage. My parents hated each other, my aunts and uncles, grandparents, friends, none of them were happily married. In my mind, marriage is just something people do because it feels good in the moment. But nobody loves anybody enough to work through problems and make their lives better together. I was genuinely convinced love like that does not exist. It's taking a lot of therapy but I'm starting to learn that two people really can have a lifelong happy marriage, but they both need to care and be willing to do what it takes. There's some level of social pressure that way in that peer pressure, social expectations tend to fall on the woman and not the man for things like entertaining, cleaning, childcare. Let's say neither really cares about, random thing like sweeping the stairs. The male won't have external social pressure to do it, the woman will, and nagging is one way to transfer that external pressure. So my husband and I are married for five years now and I think marriage is bliss. My husband cooks and enjoys it. He is good with kids and surely will be a really good father and he does his share of chores in the house. We don't fight about money, as we both pay our shares of living expenses and what's left, fun money, is not discussed. I truly believe that it's a good thing to test out the relationship early on, living together as a test run. It's all about communication. In my relationship, I, F, was the one not pulling my weight, lol. We started off great, then we kind of grew stale but we realized we were unhappy, and decided to work on it. And I mean it was work. We had to figure out fair chore splits, reasonable expectations of together time versus personal time, and so much more. We even sat down and made a plan for how we were going to fight so that everyone got a chance to be heard. I've been with my husband for almost 20 years, and been married for 12 of them. We love each other, listen to each other, help each other, and genuinely enjoy being together. He is the most amazing person, and he truly has made me better. The best part is he says the exact same thing about me. People go into relationships with the expectation that people will change, if you have a magic sentence or word. 99% of the people who have issues here, are asking how to get the problem across to their partners, so that they change something about them. The truth is, that's not how it works. If you have a problem with your boyfriend being messy, no hygiene or playing video games all day long, then this is who you are going to spend the rest of your life with, if you get married. That's where the nagging wives come from. Not to say people can't change, just don't expect them to change. The only person you can change and have control over, is yourself. My relationship with my husband is amazing and we work as a team. No jobs are assigned we work together what needs to be done and communicate who gets what. Like if my husband isn't working late and I am, he cooks and takes care of things and vice versa if he is working late. We have been together for about 10 years and he is my best friend, and truly love him more every day. Watching our love and family grow is just amazing as I didn't grow up in this kind of family myself. My advice is communication is key, but that means all the parts of communication. Like be open to talking about the hard things, listening to what's being said, and discuss what was said to make sure it was understood correctly. The fact that you fear this is good, it means you actually see it and don't want it. You're 19, 
too young to even think about this. When the time comes, just choose someone who motivates, loves and supports you. Boshali, someone who makes you happy and is there for you. Everything else, trust me, doesn't matter.